In this video, let us design an image viewer using a trackbar control and picture box. We use C Sharp and Visual Studio to design this viewer. We use the left and right arrow keys to navigate through the images. Without any delay let us get into the video. Open Visual Studio and create a new project. Select Windows Forms and then name the project. I will name it as Image Viewer. Click Create and the form will be loaded. Go to the properties of the form and search for its border style. Set it to none. Now resize the form accordingly, so that the images fit in without any distortion. Next, in the properties, set the start position of the form to center screen. Now go to the toolbox and search for a trackbar. Drag it to the form. Also, select a picture box and drag it to the form. It would be used to display the images. Now let us change the properties of the trackbar. But before that, let us dock it to the top. Next. Change its back color to black and set its minimum value to 1. Now, let us change the properties of the picture box. First, Use the Fill option in Dock property. Next, let us change the background image layout to Stretch, and then import the images we need for the viewer. Go to the Resource Files and select Import. The File dialog box would open from which you can select the images needed. I select 10 images for this project. Also, set the first image as the default background of the picture box. After we set the background image, double click the trackbar to go into the code. The trackbar's event is called scroll, which acts when the trackbar cursor is moved using the arrow keys. Next, let us start coding. We use an if statement to check the value of the trackbar. If the trackbar value changes, we set a new background image from the imported photos. Using properties.resources.image name would set the background image of the picture box. We need 10 such if statements. So copy the if statement and paste it 10 times. Also change the trackbar values from 1 to 10 respectively. We also change the image names randomly. I have named it from 1 to 10. Now let us run the application. And our image viewer has been designed using a trackbar. We can also load images externally, but it is easy when loading from the resources. 
Also, because the name of the image is in number, it adds an underscore automatically in front due to naming convention. That's it for the video. If you like the design, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.